day, internet people. Okay, we're finally out of maintenance jail. <laughs> we're here, it's uh, the morning of November the 2nd, 2011, 2021. I still think it's 2011, that's how behind the times I am. Anyway, we're finally out of jail and we're into the new updates. So obviously, we've got new story elements and stuff to do, but for now, we're just going to be opening some packs. So let's start by having a look at what they've given us as compensation. So we get a Masaki poster, great, Masaki banner, cool. Basically, I'll claim anything except stamina because I want to save stamina for later. So they've given us 300 stamina, 500 gems. So, okay. Well, okay. I mean, the gems I'm saving for G anyway, so they won't be going towards packs. But I'll get my day 7 login bonus. So I'll have that. Have that. Give me my title. Thank you. I'll take my five gacha tickets. Thank you. And I'll take the amusement park ticket. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to leave that stamina there because I might want that at some point for something specific and it's happy to sit there. So let's jump over to the shop. <clears throat> so let's just have a look. Is this the same as JP, where you can buy 10 packs and you get medals with it? If you... Is it working the same way? I think that is that, isn't it? So if you've got paid gems, you can get twice as many D medals if you're using regular gems, you do that. But it's 10 packs for... Oh, it's only gems though, isn't it? I don't want to use my gems. Damn, okay, never mind. I guess I won't be going after a G skin. I don't really want to throw 10,000 gems down the drain. That could be used for zero, so. Okay, well, that's something to bear in mind. It's a shame we didn't get that. Did I say zero? I mean G. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, so if, if G was around, I would totally do that. But I don't want to use my gems yet. So, I'm just going to go in and open packs using packs. So, what am I after? Mainly Jewel Knights. I could always craft anything I can't get. I've got plenty of Royal Paladin crafting materials, but if I can pull any, then that's a win. I don't have any paid gems. Well, 16. So, we've got three specific tickets so let's use these first these are ones that we've earned through daily login bonuses so let's see what's in these three to begin with what's everyone else hoping for from this set you're building deleters as deleter you have to deleters or whatever let us know in the comments what you're after, or what you pulled. Oh, well, apparently it wants us to build these. So, we've got Iggy and Jail. We've been let out of jail, and now we're back in jail. Okay, so, off to Neon Messiah. I've got 71 packs, so I'm going to open the one to start off with. And then we'll have seven full rolls of ten. Let's see how we go. So, can we get a sneaky triple in the one pack? Probably not. No. Okay. Who the heck is that? Narakami Foot Brawler Tayrock. Okay. Cool. Not bothered about Narakami. Oh, and it's giving us Messiah medals. Wicked. Don't tell us about that. So, first roll of ten. Obviously, saving up a nice amount of gems now, so when G hits, we'll have a fairly healthy unboxing for that. So, 
There's that foot brawler again. There's that same deleter grade 3 again, Iggy. That's the seeker grade 1, I think. Nothing in there. Another foot brawler. Where is there only like two triple R's and two double R's in this entire set? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a blaster joker. Very nice. I mean, I'll take that. Oops. There's that same grade two again. That's a very good jewel knight. That's absolutely going in the deck. And. Final pack, we get a Dragonic Overlord the Great, so not bad for the first 10 rolls. We've got a, the Great and a Blaster Joker. I think that's a, that's a pretty solid roll there. And we've got this Seeker support card. So pretty good, pretty good. Keep that momentum up. Uh, yeah, don't tell us about that. So. See how we get on for the next ten. Boof. Throw me some Jewel Knight Legions, please. No triple R confirmed, but we got two last time without a confirm, so you never know. Nothing there. There's that Seeker again, and it looks like a Narakami Grade 3. Do, 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 do. Just chaff. Not so exciting in that one either. Oh, couple of double R's. I think they're both new ones for me. And can we get some last pack magic? Tenth pack magic? No. This is fine. <clears throat> this is all fine. Cool. Hey ho, Pip and Dandy. Edition Dragon Knight. Oh, okay, so it was a Kagero one. Cool. Right. More! More! Let's get a triple R confirmed this time, please. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Oof. That's the same Seeker Grade 1. That's a Royal Paladin, I think, as well. There we go, that's what I was after. Jewel Knight Legion. Very nice, that'll give us a free sword me. Save me a bit of crafting materials. <clears throat> I'm more after the sword me than the Grade 3, really, at the moment. I mean, the Legion's nice, but I'm happy to throw sword me into an Ashley Reverse deck, you know? Thing. So the only triple there was the one I wanted at least, so very nice. During your turn if you're in Legion of Four more Jewel Knights, it gets plus five and a crit, and plays to call a sword me. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go. Another ten. Can it get me another one or two of those? It's the good stuff. I've been doing alright with Jewel Knights anyway, even up to before this set. Although there's going to be so much Link Joker around. And Jewel Knights don't really have any kind of unlocking option unless you tech in a non Jewel Knight. And then you shut your Miranda down. Because she only works if you deck's pure Jewel Knight. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of Link Joker around. There's Deleter. 
um, PG. There's old Goro in this set as a double rare, and might end up needing to craft a few of those. Definitely probably going to have to craft a couple of sword knees. I don't think we're going to pull a full play set of that. <clears throat> that was a bit of a duff. Ten. Okay, 30 left. So, here we go. Here we go. We've got all of those gems waiting for G. Here we go, yes. Triple confirmed. It's a Link Joker we want. Is that a Star Vader thing? Not hugely... I don't remember them to be honest. There was a lot of Link Joker in this era and... A lot of it's kind of faded into distant memory by now. Grade 2 Seeker. Did I call that a se Grade 1 only? <clears throat> Come on. One more if rain in this set, please. Ooh, we get some sneaky last triple. Boof. Oh. Okay, so who's that? Dark Zodiac. When Legion Cat Blast one time on the opponent's oh, that's basically a mega luck. Cat Blast 2 in this card, card. Okay. Well, that exists. Double confirmed. That's a bit rough, although there is a double. I don't know if it's one or other years. So many of them. That's just turning into the area of shore. <laughs> oh, desperate times with this love. Can we just get a sneaky? Oh, I guess so, technically. Sneaky triple? No. Who's that random knight guy? What does he do? When he att attack hits a vanguard, can't last one look at five from the top of your deck. Add Wraith Field Blade into your hand. Hmm. Okay. And the last ten packs here. Ooh, well we got triple confirmed anyway. So, what do we get? What do we get? No, not there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bluish flame, so I can go straight to my bluish flame deck. I forgot about those to be honest. Oh, an SP one. Nice. That'll be crafting materials. It gets powdered down. Two more packs. So, and that's not an SP. And the final pack. Woof! Oh, we're not going. We did get one. <laughs> okay. So I got one thing I wanted there in terms of that, which is the Jewel Knight. When it's your attack hits a Vanguard if you have four more Jewel Knight regards, so one to conquer one less Jewel Knight from the deck. 
at some point, that should combo nicely with a card that I think turned up in a... Was it the extra booster? Which is like a grade 1 that when placed you can reveal a grade 3 from your hand to call a grade 3 from the deck and then at the end of the turn put it back into your hand and discard a card. That could get you a full extra column if you call that and then use that to call a grade 3 in front. That used to be a nice way to do some combos. Prominence Glare, there we go. So he legions with Aglaveil. And when your rear guard is placed from the deck, if you're in Legion, counter blast one and discard a bluish flame to have this unit get crit plus one, and the following ability until the end of turn. So when the back of this unit attacks, your opponent chooses to play to card at random from the hand when it's really sentinel and discards it. If not discarded, the opponent cannot activate the sentinels. So the counter blast one, the tower is liberated, so you look for a liberator. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. So there we go. That's uh, the 70... What is it overall? 76 packs or 73 packs? However many we opened. So, not too bad. Not too bad. So, I think I'll end this uh, video here and I'll probably go and do some battles once I got my draw lights up to date and I'll probably record a few of those. So look out for those as and when. Bye! Kabooie here! Thanks for watching Draw the Trigger! Here's another video you might enjoy!